Hey, I'm Robin and this is BitBirdie. You might not be able to tell on camera, but I am very short. I'm actually only four foot 10 inches or 147 centimeters. So I thought I'd share some parts of my desk setup that specifically help with being a generally small person in a big world. Let's start with the desk. This is the 63 inch Ikea Bacant or or Bacant or Bacant sit stand desk. The thing about this desk is that it can go a lot lower than a standard desk, which are apparently 28 to 30 inches high. I have mine set at about 24 inches and the minimum height it can go is 22 inches. Standing is also pretty nice, but I'd say I only spend about 20% of the time standing and 80% of the time wishing I had a better chair. Speaking of chairs, I have a Steelcase Uno office chair. It's not the best. I kind of just ended up with this chair because I got it for free. And I've tried many other chairs, but either the minimum height height is too high so my feet wouldn't touch the ground or the seat is too deep so that I couldn't sit with my back against the back of the chair. Even chairs that were specifically designed for small people are too big. So to make this chair workable, I always put a pillow here to decrease the seat depth and also provide lumbar support. And I also have this handy footstool so that I can sit like this, but I usually end up sitting like this. I also like sitting cross-legged about half the time, which is actually pretty comfy in this chair. Moving on to the stuff on top of my desk. The mouse I use is a Logitech G305 with the top cover removed. Even though it's a pretty small mouse, I have extremely small hands and this mouse just felt too big with the top cover on. Like I couldn't really get my finger completely onto the scroll wheel without lifting my hand off the desk. Removing the top cover also made the mouse a little bit lighter which is always nice. My keyboard is a custom mechanical keyboard that I built that I can talk more about in a future video if you're interested. But in this video I just want to mention that it's a 60% keyboard which means it doesn't have the numpad or the nav cluster so I don't need to have my hands awkwardly far apart all the time and the distance from my right hand between the mouse and typing position is minimized. I'm sorry, but I'm just not hardcore enough to do everything with keyboard shortcuts. Like most mechanical keyboards, mine's a bit chunky, so I definitely need a wrist rest to keep it comfy. But earlier this year, I developed a wrist pain anyway. So I built this fancy low profile split ergonomic keyboard, which is super awesome, but I don't use it very much right now. And that's also another story for another video. Next up is literally my favorite thing that I own, and it is the Sennheiser HD 598 headphones. These headphones can adjust to the perfect size and the ear pads are surprisingly not too big for my tiny head. I love the sound quality and balanced sound signature and they're so, so comfy. I'll actually forget I'm wearing them and then I'll get up to do something, which means they get yanked off my head and it's probably really bad for the cable. These are open back headphones, but I also bought the closed back version so that I could bring them to the office, which are also great. But one day I wore them while walking in the rain and the ear pads started deteriorating. So yeah, don't do that. The final thing on my desk that's specifically for small people is this mini USB gamepad that I use when playing games on my PC. Here's a picture I found comparing it to normal size gamepads. It's just a little bit smaller, a little bit more workable for me. But I recently found out that I could use my Nintendo Switch Joy-Cons with my PC instead. The Joy-Cons with the grip is probably the most comfortable controller I've used, besides the legendary GameCube controller, obviously. So that'll probably replace this gamepad. So those are all the parts of my desk setup that help with being a short person with tiny hands and a tiny head. This was a pretty niche video, so I hope that someone out there found this useful. And if you have any other short person tips, please let me know in the comments below, especially if they're about chairs. And I'll see you in the next one.